Hi friends, welcome back to Living Loud with Rajul. Today we are going to explore Hoysaleshwara Temple. This beautiful old temple is located in Halebedu and is dedicated to Lord Shiva. Halebedu is an important tourist place in Karnataka. It is located in the Hassan district of Karnataka. Halebedu is famous for its world-class temples built during Hoysala period. Watch this full video to know the history of Hoysaleshwara Temple and magnificent piece of architecture situated on a lawn with a star-shaped base. The temple has four entrances and the north entrance is the main entrance through which tourists can get inside the temple. The temple is a mixture of North Indian Nagara and South Indian Karnataka style of the architecture of it is has Ekakuta Vamana design. Along with the four entrances, Dwarapalas were added. These Devi Arapals are wearing huge jewels and also has four arms. One can see a large image of Lord Ganesha on the southern entrance. Hoyasala's architecture is one of the most outstanding and marvelous. Hoyasala built the temples between 10th to 14th centuries which are famous even to this day. Temples built in Belur and Halebedu are the best examples of Hoysala style of architecture. The Halebedu Temple Complex is open from 6.30 am to 9.30 pm. The best time to visit the temples is early morning. It is suggested to visit the temple complex early morning as the weather is hot. There are experienced guides available at the complex who takes you back in the golden era of Hoysala Kingdom when the shrines were constructed. The Halebedu Temple Complex is open on all days of the week. Halebedu, formerly known as Dwarasamudra, was the ancient capital of the Hoysalas just 17 kilometers away from Belu. The Hoysala dynasty ruled over much of South India for close to 200 years and during this time they built spectacular temples, both Hindu as well as Jain. In the 14th century, the armies of Alauddin Khilji and Muhammad Tughlaq defeated the Hoysalas and raided their empire. It is recorded that enormous wealth and riches were looted. The city never recovered and fell into neglect. In fact, Halebedu means old house, old ruins. However, few temples survived this devastation like the ones in Halebedu and today when you see them, you will be mesmerized by some of the most stupendous expressions ever sculpted in stone. Located at the banks of a lake, the Halebedu Temple Complex is beautiful and holy with its serene atmosphere and lush greenery all around. The temple complex is maintained perfectly and hence is neat and clean even in the rainy season. The Halebedu temples are safeguarded by the Archaeological Survey of India. The Hoysaleshwara Temple is a UNESCO World Heritage Site while the Kedarshwara Temple has been proposed to be recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The Hoysala temples of Belur and Halebedu, the outer walls of temple have numerous miniature artworks in a horizontal band. Elephants that symbolize strength, lions that depict courage, horses showcasing speed, stories from Ramayana and Mahabharat, scenes from common life that show artha, wealth, karma, love, and dharma, truth, mythical creatures, festivals, ceremonies and much more.
climate of Halebedo. Summer months are quite hot in Halebedo. Temperature would hover around 40 degrees Celsius. Summer months are from March to May. Monsoon is from June to September where the place receives heavy rainfall. Winter is from November to February where the weather is pleasant and the temperature would hover around 25 degrees Celsius. Around March and April, Hoysala Mahastav takes place which is a festival of dance and music. Artists from all over country come and participate in the festival. It is the best time to visit Belur and Halebedu during this festival period. Best time to visit is from October to March. The craftsmanship inside the temple is even more enthralling. The doorway with the Dwara Palikas is elegantly carved. The Navaranga Hall, central space, has 48 pillars and no two pillars look alike except the central four which were hand carved as later additions. One of the two particularly notable pillars is the Narsimha pillar which is carved with miniature figures from top to bottom. The other pillar is the Mohini pillar, female avatar of Vishnu, that has eight bands of carvings including Brahma, Vishnu, his ten avatars, Shiva, the eight direction deities, and a mythical animal which has the body of lion and the face of other wildlife creature. Twin temple with two sanctums, dedicated to Hoysaleshwara Shiva and Santleshwara Shiva are of the same size and has two large seated Nandi shrines outside, each facing the corresponding Shiva Linga inside. The four main doors of the temple are so intricately carved that if there's a heaven they would look like this doorway. The exterior wall is designed such that the carved figures look different at different times of the day, due to varying sun's position. The polished Navaranga has minutely cared rows of monolithic pillars, towering more than 16 feet in height. These are mostly circular with designs of a bell or kalasha or flower vase combined perpendicularly to make single stellar pillar. These temples are every architect's muse. So if you are someone who is fascinated by ancient buildings and is left spellbound by intricate architecture, this one is for you. History and legend of Halebedu The Halebedu temples are witness to the glorious past of ancient India. The Hoysaleshwara temple was constructed by the Ketamala, the chief architect of that time, around 1121 AD. The Hoysaleshwara temple was dedicated to King Vishnuvardhana, the then ruler of Halebedu. The Hoysaleshwara temple is dedicated to Hoysaleshwara and Shantleshwara, named after King Vishnuvardhana Hoysala and Queen Shantala Devi. The Kedarshwara temple was constructed around 1173 to 1200 AD. The Kedarshwara temple was constructed by King Veera Ballala II and Queen Katala Devi. The Kedarshwara temple is dedicated to an incarnation of Lord Shiva, Ishwara. The three Jan Vashtis located within the Halebedu temple complex were constructed at different times. While the Adinatha Swami was constructed during the 1138 AD, the Shantinatha Swami temple was constructed at 1192 AD and the Parshwanatha Bashti was constructed in 1133 AD. The Halebedu temples were almost ruined by Muslim invasion. The city was invaded twice by Malik Kafur during the 14th century. Halebedu was originally known as Dora Samudra or Dwara Samudra. It came to be known as Halebedu after it was looted by the Muslim rulers of Delhi at 1311 and 1327 and the city was completely destroyed. Significance of the Halebedu Temple, the Hoysaleshwara Temple and the Kedarshwara Temple are popular tourist destinations of Halebedu. These temples are known for the intricate carvings which portray the golden age of Hoysala rule. Every sculpture is different from the other. The granular details of the postures are amazing. The temple complex consists of two Hindu temples, Hoysaleshwara temple and the Kedarshwara temple and a Jan Bashti, which has three temples within it. There is also an archaeological museum within the complex which helps you understand the importance of the sculptures and carvings of the shrines. This archaeological museum was built in 1970 and consists of almost 1500 sculptures and inscriptions that have been recovered from the nearby places. 
Besides an enclosed gallery, there is also an open-air museum, which displays an 18-feet image of a Tirthankara, Lord Krishna and Shiva in Tandava posture, Natraj, Goddess Saraswati and Dancing Ganesha. These temples are constructed with soapstone. The walls of the Hoysaleshwara temple are adorned with carvings of Hindu mythology, images of flora and fauna, dancers and shilabalikas. The temple is guarded by two monolith sculptures of Nandi the Vahana of Lord Shiva, on each side. The Jan Bashti of the temple complex also exhibit fine sculptures, depicting the rich traditions and beliefs of Jainism. One of the Jan Bashti is known as the Parshwanatha Bashti. This Bashti consists of a large sculpture of Lord Parshwanatha, which is 18 feet in height and made of black stone. A seven-headed serpent over the head of the idol is considered to be guarding the deity. The 12 pillars of the Parshwanatha Bashti are exquisitely carved out of a rock. The Lakshmi Narayana idol of Hoysaleshwara temple is famous due to its perfect carvings. The outer walls of the Hoysaleshwara temple are adorned with sculptures of various deities of Hindu mythology. The entrance of the Hoysaleshwara temple is also adorned with sculptures of decked up elephants in a battling mood. This sculpture represents the way of entertainment of ancient India, where elephant fights were common. The Kedarshwara temple represents the Trikutchala layout. The Kedarshwara temple also consists of a life-size sculpture of Nandi. The Ganesha sculpture of the Kedarshwara temple is erected outside the Kedarshwara temple, which seems to guard the temple of Lord Shiva. The relief of Lord Vishnu at the Kedarshwara temple is in a standing posture, flanked with images of goddesses on both sides. The relief of Arjuna at the Kedarshwara temple depicts excerpts from the great Indian epic, Mahabharata. The Kedarshwara temple also exhibits different avatars of Lord Vishnu, like the Varahar and Bamana avatar. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Your support means the world to us and helps us create more great content like this. We love hearing from you, so feel free to drop your thoughts, questions, or video suggestions in the comments below. Don't miss out on our future videos, so make sure to turn on the notification bell. You can also check out some of our other videos from YouTube link. Thanks again for being a part of our Living Loud with Reju channel, and we can't wait to see you in the next video. Until then, stay inspired and bye.